Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make these little face mask extenders. Now what you do with these is you put them, they go around the back of the nurses and the doctors or anyone who wears a face mask, anyone in the, the care services. It stops the elastic of the face mask, the elastic strap of the mask from going around your ears and causing like redness, soreness and blisters. The the actual elastic comes around the button on either end and this sits on the back of the head and it keeps the elastic away from the wearer's ears and they're really, really handy and the NHS are crying out for these to help all the nurses and the people who are going to be using the PPE for any long length of time, especially the face masks. And this is what these are for. It's to help just to extend it so it comes around the side of the face on opposite top and bottom of the ears and not around the actual ears. And they're really, really handy. If you've got family and relatives or even if you've just got small amounts of yarn, this doesn't take an, a huge amount of yarn at all. It only takes a few metres to crochet one of these. You're going to need a darning needle to sew your buttons on. You're going to need some buttons. Now, the buttons I've got, I've got these buttons and they were only a pound. These are about a half inch big, these buttons. You're going to need a small crochet hook and the smaller the stitches the better and it's just a few rounds of a double crochet and I'm going to show you how to make these and if you've got nothing to do and you're looking for something to keep you busy how about making a big big bundle of these and posting them off or handing them in to one of your friends or anyone that you know that works in a care home, a nursing home, works in the hospital and they can dish them out to all the friends and it will help to stop all that blistering around their ears. So I'm going to show you how to make these extenders. A lot of people are making lots of them and handing them in to their local hospital or their care homes for the nurses and the carers to use. There's nothing more uncomfortable than wearing a face mask with elastic um, supports on it around your ears all day. Now, you're only going to need about this amount of yarn. It's not going to take much to make one of these at all. And they're so quick. The buttons that I've got are about a half inch. If the buttons are too small, the elastic might just ping back off it. The elastic ear band that's on the, the face mask. So get your buttons about a half an inch big. You only need two buttons per extender. Now I'm going to do my tail a little long. I'm going to do my tail a little long because I want to use the tail to sew the button on. I'll sew one button on with the tail and when I'm finished I'll leave a long enough length and I'll sew the other button on. So leave a longish tail. So I'm going to do a slip knot and I'm going to chain 15 stitches. Not everyone's head is the same size. So make your extenders in different, different sizes because the men will use these as well. If you do them in darker colours for men, I mean, a lot of the bright colours, it's great for doing it for the female nurses, but we need to think about the male nurses as well. And even the doctors or anyone, even if yourself, if you're going outside with a mask on, these are great so that the elastic doesn't hurt your ears. So we're going to chain 15. I'm using a 4.5 millimetre hook. That's one, two, three, four, five. So into the second stitch in your chain, we're going to do a double crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet. So just put your hook through the stitch and pull your yarn through. Yarn over and come through those two loops. That's your first one done. We're going to do that all the way along to the end. One double crochet in each of the stitches in the chain. This 
last stitch. Into the last stitch, I'm going to put four double crochets. That's one. Oops, just pull that through. It's because the hook's quite small. Two. I'm going to pull that tail around. We need the tail to sew on the button. So another two into this end stitch. So that's four double crochets, or if you're in the USA, four single crochets into that last stitch. Now we're going to work our way back up this side of the band. We're going to go in between the stitches. There's not much yarn there and you don't want holes all over it. So we're going to go in between the stitches and put a double crochet in between each of the stitches that you've got already. Just like that. All the way along to the last stitch. So I'm going in between that last two stitches. Now this last stitch here might look a little muddled. Just push your hook through and you're going to put four double crochets into that last stitch. So that's one. That'll bring us around the corner. Two. Oops, I've got a little catch there. Three and four. We're going to go all the way around and all the way back on your band. So I'll work one double crochet into each stitch to get to the other end. Not much yarn at all. So when you get to the end, we're just going to put one double crochet all the way around here. We're not going to we're not going to increase or anything because these don't need to be very wide. You don't want a great big thick band at the back of your head. So one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And then we're going to work down this side. We'll work around the corner and we'll finish off down here. Now you'll notice that I didn't do any chains or anything when I got the, the round finished. I just went around, right around. For this project you don't need to do a chain one or slip stitch or anything to it. As long as your band's just about this wide doesn't take much yarn at all for these. So we're around at this corner where we started. I'm just going to put one in these four stitches that we put in around here. And that's you got your band made. So just take your scissors, give yourself a decent amount of chain, a decent amount of yarn. So yarn over and just pull through and that's it. So I'm going to get my darning needle and I'm going to put a button here and a button here. Really, really simple. I'm going to put the yarn on the, the darning needle. I'm just going to slip through my stitch and into this middle area here, just in to the middle and that will pull that little bumpy stitch down. Bring my needle to the back. I'll get my next set of And I think we'll put some, we'll, we'll put 
a contrasting button on. We'll put a button here. Okay, so a button on there. I've got to use these blue buttons and a button on there. So when it's around the person's head at the back, they loop the elastic from their face mask around the button and that keeps the elastic away from their ears, just like in the picture at the beginning. So I'll put my hook, my needle through to the front and put my button on like that. A couple of stitches through the button and we'll just put a few stitches in the back to hold that button in place. I want to thread my yarn down through the stitches down here to hide the end like that. Side. And there we go. That is how easy it is to make one of these little extenders. So I'll put my face mask on my little doll he head or even on my son <laughs> and I'll take a picture of this at the back of his head. So this is what they're for with the picture that you can see. And that is how easy it is to make these. Don't worry if you've got a little bit too much at that side or that side, it's fine. Once you've got that around the back of their head and they've got the face mask attached to it, it's going to be much, much more comfortable and it's not going to hurt behind their ears. They're not going to have all those big blisters and red marks around the back of their ears having to wear a face mask all the time. So I've got my button sewn on and I've got these two. I've got another bundle of these that are sitting. I need to send them up to my sister. My sister works in a care home and she's going to be very thankful for all of these. Now all it is is just your two buttons, like I said already, and a small amount of yarn. I mean it's not even a few metres of yarn that takes to do these. You can make hundreds and hundreds of these and like I said already, the care homes, hospitals, even your friends that are having to wear a face mask for any more than a than 20 minutes or so. It helps to stop the back of their ears, the sides of their ears for getting blistered and painful from the elastic straps that are on the actual face masks and they just hook them around the buttons and like the picture I showed you at the beginning and that's how they're fitted and I've made different sizes as well. This one here is a much longer size for because a lot of the, the guys can wear these as well. You can make them in darker colours and just have white buttons or black buttons on them just for the men to use as well and you can make really pretty ones for women like this. They're also good if you've got a child. If your child's like over the age of eight and like the the government are saying if you wear a mask outside then this will help to stop the elastic making the back of the ears painful and of course for yourself as well they're really really great they're really handy as well so thank you very much for watching give these a try even if you're not making them for yourself make some for the nhs and post them off to your local hospital they would be really really appreciate it so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe to my channel so you just click on that button down there that says subscribe and if you click on that bell icon then YouTube will notify you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, stay safe and happy crafting and give these a try. It's really for a worthy cause as well. Until the next time, I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.